Hey guys, it's me. Um, it's been quite a while. And um, this is one of those videos, you know, those kinds of videos that I've been trying to record and make for the past like five months or so, six months now. I don't really know but every time that I kept putting the camera on to record it and to just talk it just the words just don't come out right and you know I've been trying to you know write it down like a script I guess and it just the words still don't come out so I'm just going to wing it like I've done when I first started, when I first start off doing the reviews, you know, just put a camera on my, in front of my face and just talk and hope someone can kind of make sense of what I'm saying. And for the most part, I guess it kind of worked out. <laughs> so I know a lot of you are probably wondering, hey, G Vents. Mr. Album Reviewer slash Vlogs guy. Where have you been? And honestly, it's kind of a hard question to answer because I don't really know how to answer it. Let's just say uh, these days I'm kind of dealing with, you know, I've sort of just been dealing with like you know, self-improvement, you know, mental health kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, physical health stuff as well. And, you know, just dealing with stuff that, you know, I should have, I should have been taken care of, you know, before I hit my 20s. But I just never really took it seriously. And, you know, living in a society where, you know, I feel like, you know, no one really cares because I'm a guy. No one really cares if I'm doing good or bad. You know, no one really cares. So I've just been kind of, I just never really took it seriously, basically. And it's kind of caught up to me. You know, along with that, you know, dealing, I was kind of going through some behind the scenes stuff that was going on um, last year, which don't really want to get into, not right now and most likely never, because uh, I would just rather keep a lot of that stuff uh, private. So yeah, you know, not really looking not really, not really looking forward to do any drama or to do or to like cause any controversy. You know, it's just it's, it's just really ain't worth it to be honest. It, it never really is, no matter how petty it may seem. I guess. And yeah, that's the short story of it. But I'm sure a lot of you want an explanation, considering that you never you never really got this side of me in the video C4. You know the serious side, the, the real part of me that I hide behind my stupid ass jokes, my stupid ass like this jokes that I've made on vlogs and everything. You know, a lot of people thought I was just jokes, which, you know, it is, right? It's, it's, it's my coping mechanism, you know, joking about my mental health and everything to cope with it. But a lot of the stuff that those jokes were about surrounding my mental health and everything, it's, it's pretty real. You know, I kind of grew up way too fast in a way. Because when I was very younger, I had and still have, you know, pretty bad anxiety and I go through depression quite a lot you know, 
almost every day. And so, you know, I've just, I've just always been a very serious kid sometimes. Most of the times I've just been pretty serious because, you know, I went through bullying. You know, I got, I got bullied quite a lot all the way from elementary, middle school to high school. And, you know, it's the, it's the kind of bullying that you see on the movies and shit and on TV. You know, it's not, it's not supposed to be real. You know, people aren't really supposed to act like that. But I unfortunately did get it. And it's really hard for me to see like bullying happen happen in movies and stuff like that. Even if it's just for like comedic reasons, I, I, I have a hard time watching it because I know that it actually happens in real life. And you know, I, I've experienced it. So it's, it just, it's, it's just really hard to, um, to, to watch and, and, you know, to like think that someone else may, may be going through it too. And, you know, growing up like that, you know, you tend to have a lot of trust issues. So you tend to like, want to be by yourself all the time and to like, just shut everybody out and to just sort of keep to yourself most of the time. And so because of that, I, you know, I didn't really have many friends, you know, in elementary, middle school. And I was lucky enough that when I got to high school, I was surrounded with people that wanted to be around me. And even though a lot of the times I just always questioned it, you know, it's, 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 it's the cruel cycle of it, you know, when a lot of people show you all your life that they don't really give a fuck about you and you start to believe it. And then the good people come around to want to take care of you, to want to you know, show you how much they love you and it just, you just don't know who to trust sometimes. And so because of that, I pushed away a lot of people. I did, I pushed away quite a lot of people. And at the same time, I also had a lot of love around me. You know, a lot of people, you know, became my best friends, still are my best friends. And, you know, they just show, they showed me every day you know, that I'm loved and that they, and that they really do care about me and that they want to have me around for as long as they can. And to be honest, I feel like I did very little to deserve that sometimes, considering how unpleasant it was to be around me because of my sadness and, you know, it just always pushes everybody away. So yeah, that's sort of my story about it, you know? And guess while we're at it, while we're on, while I'm on a roll, you know, you know, come coming out to you guys about, you know, my mental health and everything. You know, I became extremely suicidal when I was very young. When I was, I was, I was a freshman in high school, so I was probably around fourteen, maybe fifteen. I don't really remember, but. I became extremely suicidal. And the fucked up part with having suicidal thoughts when you're when you're uh, that young is you don't really think about the future that much. You don't really think about, you know, your purpose in life, like, you know, future career, like, you know, what are you gonna do for, for the rest of your life? You know, you know, like what mark you're gonna leave in the world because you're just so caught up with the idea that eventually you're gonna do it. Eventually you're gonna off yourself, you're gonna find the courage to do it. And nothing and nothing is gonna matter. So, you know, whatever. And that was me for a long time, you know. Because of that I never really got the chance to live, to to really, really live when I was younger, to really enjoy, you know, my 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 younger days before I got to adulthood and really like saw how it is to struggle sometimes, you know. Just spend most of, most of my time, you know, self loathing, didn't really go out that much, 
didn't really want to go out that much. Wasn't really involved in school. You know, wasn't involved with my family that much. Missed a lot of time with my family because of it. So, you know, I just, I just did all that because I just had it in my head that I, I was going to do it one day. My, it was going to happen. And then I hit 17 years old and realized that I am very close to adulthood. And I still don't got any of my shit figured out. So here I am now at 22 years old. And that's what I've been trying to do for the past maybe three years. Trying to figure out, you know, you know, what what am I gonna do? You know, just 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 trying to figure out, you know, what's my purpose? What am I trying to do in life? And you know, just just really been trying hard a lot lately to you know really live in the moment, to really appreciate the little things, to just really appreciate the people around me right now, to to just live, you know, to just to just like really really like love myself to love my life the way it is regardless if it is where i want to be right now or not so you know it's just my mental health just has been kicking my ass lately and i thought that i had it all figured out when i turned 20 you know i thought that i wasn't gonna let it get to me no more but it's been it's been kicking my ass you know especially living all the way out here now in commerce city you know I'm, you know, most of the time I'm in this big house all by myself. So, you know, it, it's been very lonely recently. And it's been given to me. But I know this is hard for a lot of you to hear, considering that I did really good at hiding it, which, you know, I've always been good at hiding it. You know, I've been dealing with it on my own for such a long time. You know, 90% of the time, I just keep that brave face on, you know, just just always had to keep it, you know, for my parents, for my siblings, for my coworkers, my friends, my girlfriend, you know. Just have to, just just always had to, like, have that brave face on me no matter what, because it's a lot more easier to convince, to try and convince the people around you that you're doing good. You know, the people that the people that love you that you're doing good. So they don't have to constantly worry about you. And they don't have to constantly like, you know, ask themselves what's what's wrong with you today? You know, what's wrong with him today? But unfortunately, there has been that 10% where it, it just it just beats me. You know, if it puts me in a headlock, it fucking just, it, it, it fucks me up. And, you know, I just start freaking out. I just start shutting everybody out. And I just get unmotivated to do practically anything, you know. So, yeah. That's... That's where I've been, and it's ext it's extremely heavy, and I'm sorry about that. But you know, this is this is the real me. You know, this is the person I try to hide a lot when I did those vlogs for those two years when I did the reviews and everything. You know, just that this is what I was trying to hide because it's not a very easy like thing to. So first of all, admit, you know, it's, it's really hard to admit it, but it's, it's there. But it's also really difficult to see, you know, and with doing YouTube and everything, it's extremely hard to like try and keep that brave face. You know, we live in a world where, where social media just like shows everybody like just the good part of our lives, you know the good times, all of our victories, you know, just how happy we are. We, we, we want to see our favorite people happy. You know, we want to see our loved ones happy on social media. We don't, we don't want to know about, you know, if you're doing bad or not, you know, we don't, we don't really want to know about that. 
but it's been getting really hard to hide it lately. And at some point I got to realize I can't ignore it no more. And I got to take care of it. And I got to, you know, allow myself to get better if I, if I do want to, you know, continue doing what I love and to continue want to like change the world and to show everybody my potential and to leave my mark on the world one day. So that's where I've been and that's why last year I suddenly stopped uploading uh, halfway in the year. Was I was just really giving myself a mental break last year from YouTube is what I thought. You know, it just felt like maybe I just need a break from it all. And I was really looking forward to uh, coming back this year on YouTube. Now I, I really, I actually really, I actually really had plans to come back to YouTube earlier this year and just just do my thing again. But I think I have a lot more bigger issues to uh, handle within myself to, to to take care of. So I don't think. I'll be back on YouTube anytime soon, this year at least, or who knows, you know, you never know what's going to happen, but just don't want to, don't want to keep it, don't want to have anybody's hopes up, just in case, because I, I really don't know, I really don't know what's going to happen, for the, for the first time, I don't know what's going to happen, and, and that's okay, you know, we fear the unknown sometimes, because it makes us uncomfortable, but you know, it's it's good to be uncomfortable sometimes because that's when it truly opens your eyes to stuff, you know? So yeah, I, I don't know when I'll be back, but I promise I'm trying, I'm working on it. But it doesn't mean that I'm completely gone. You know, I went, I went back to Instagram this year did, did, started doing my, my, my reviews right there, um, which I've been recently been gaining quite a lot of attention. So that's something that I'm really, really proud of and that I'm really excited for to keep going on Instagram. So, you know, catch me over on Instagram if you still want to, you know, hear my thoughts on music and whatnot, you know, it's... It's not the best, you know, like critique, I guess, in the world. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Anthony Fantano, but, um, you know, it's, I, I love talking about music. So I just, I'll always share my opinion about it. And, you know, currently working on getting a Twitch soon. So, you know, you can watch me play video games soon, which would be a lot more easier to like see because Video games just have always been a, a great couple mechanism for me and I feel like it always like brought out the best in me whenever I play games and everything. You know, it's been my only couple mechanism since I was very young. You know, I've, I've never done any kind of drugs. I've never drank before. So, you know, got to have some kind of coping mechanism, right? So you don't completely lose it. And I've been working on starting a podcast with a few very special people to me. And just it's 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 just been looking like it's gonna be something pretty cool. I'm actually really excited to start this podcast, and I I can't wait to share it with you guys. So I have plans. I'll make my comeback because I know entertainment is something that I've always wanted to do, and I'll, I'll never stop at it, no matter what. Uh, I'll always continue doing it because it's it's my passion. It's not a hobby no more, it's a, it's a passion, and I know I can do it. So, yeah, I have plans, and I hope you're all excited for it. Those plans just aren't relative to YouTube right now. You know, I'm not really focusing on YouTube that much right now, because it's a lot of hard work, and it, it drains you a lot sometimes. And I want to make sure that I'm in the right headspace first before I go back to it, you know, because I will return to YouTube one day. I do, I do really want to, because I do really miss you guys a lot. 
and I just want to make sure that I'm in the right headspace because I want to make sure I give you guys the best content ever. I want to make sure that you are getting me, you know, that that you are getting, you know, the very motivational, you know, the very like, you know, passionate version of me that that you saw when I first started this channel, you know. So, yeah. I am going to still take care of myself for a bit, make sure I'm taken care of, make sure my mental health is taken care of, and make sure that I'm doing okay. And I really hope that's okay with you guys. So, yeah. I promise I'm trying. And I miss the hell out of all of you. And... I I really hope that you guys are all doing okay. I miss you guys. So bear with me. Take care guys.